Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's another Mr. Tower Maths video uh, coming out again the same time every single week, five o'clock, Monday evening, late afternoon. Make that what you will. It's five o'clock, Monday afternoon. What better time to do some maths? So we're looking at, or I'm looking at at least, algebraic fractions today. Uh, why? Well, because one, algebra, which I really like, and I think it's really cool, because it's like, well, you don't know what you work, you don't know what, you don't know what the letter is, you want to work it out, and it's sort of a problem. I think it's quite cool. Anyway, so, algebraic fractions, because algebra, and also because fractions. Two things that generally people hate and they shouldn't do, because they're actually really quite useful, and I think fun. Uh, in a weird way, think, think me weird, that's fine. Um, but fractions, people are quite often scared of them and they shouldn't be. You should, you should write your answers as fractions instead of decimals. Okay, it's much, much better. Anyway, algebraic fractions, what is a fraction? I hope we all know what a fraction is. Um, if not, I'll make another video on that next week. Um, and then, do they work the same way? Well, if you've seen some algebraic fractions before, you might know, you might have an idea, you might have a clue, even if you've never seen them before. And then, why are there letters in maths? Why are there letters in maths? That's so annoying. Why do they have to put letters in there? Well, all it is is things that we don't know. So, we're going to be going through algebraic fractions, building it all the way through from simplifying uh, the four operations and then finishing off with some nice problem solving questions like the one in the thumbnail. Okay, uh, as always, people like and subscribe. I want to say thank you again to the new subscribers we've got on the channel um, and all the support I've been getting recently on the channel. It's very much appreciated. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, and we'll try and keep this video down as close to 10 minutes as possible this week. So, simplifying, and now it starts off and you simplify in exactly the same way that you would simplify this kind of fraction. So top and bottom here, what would you do? Well, you divide it by seven because that is the highest common factor. Okay, so divide by seven, 14 divided by seven is two, 21 divided by seven is three, so we get two thirds and that's our answer. Okay, and that's, that's what you do with fractions, that's fairly straightforward, surely. Okay, now the next one, uh, we've got some algebra in it. Now, Something you can do with algebra is you can factorise it, so that's breaking it down into things that you multiply together, the factors, to give you the expression. So here we've got 2x uh, plus 8. Now I can factorise that to 2 brackets x plus 4, and I'm dividing that by x plus 4. Now I've got x plus 4 divided by x plus 4, and in the same way that if I had like 2 divided by 2, that's 1, they cancel each other out these will cancel each other out here. So I'm going to end up with, well, one left over on the bottom, and then this will be two times one, which is one, I mean, sorry, which is two, excuse me. So you end up with two over one, which is just the same as two. <clears throat> also, I have been a bit ill this week, so if I'm coughing, that's why, all right? It's not just because I'm talking so much. Um, and it has been a little bit difficult this week trying to get everything sorted, video out, but I cannot let the people at home down. I've had to get the video out. I have to make sure that I've, 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 I've come through with my promise to always get a video out every week, 5 p.m. Monday, and I will always do that. Okay, carrying on. Next thing, factorising. So, I'm going to factorise this to, it's a quadratic, uh, and it's got a coefficient of x squared of 1, there's a 1 there, just don't write that, never do, mathematicians are lazy. Um, now the numbers, the constants in these brackets, they have to multiply to make 6 and add to give me 5. So the numbers for those are going to be 2 and 3, positive 2, positive 3. Okay, now again, factorise the denominator if you can, so that's going to give me 3 brackets x plus 2, and again there, I've got a bracket, a common bracket, on top and the bottom, on the numerator and the denominator. So cancel those out, and that will leave me on the top with x plus 3 times 1, which is x plus 3. And then on the bottom, I've got 3 times 1, which is just 3. And you can't cancel that anymore, you can't simplify that anymore. Now some people will think wrongly that you can cancel the 3 with a 3, and you can't do that. 
Now you can only cancel things top and bottom if you can divide the whole numerator and the whole denominator by it. Now I can't divide, I can divide 3 by 3, but I can't divide this x by 3, you see. So um, I can't do that. Uh, and that's a common misconception that people have. So this is just my final answer. x plus 3 divided by 3. Okay? Right. Next questions. Uh, and these are to do with the four operations. Okay, so we've got addition here, we've got subtraction, and we're going to have a look at how those work. And, and they work really in, in the way that you're used to. They work no differently. So we've got to, as we always have to with fractions, get a common denominator. Now, the lowest common multiple of 3x and 4, what would that be? Well, 3 and 4, the lowest common multiple is 12. So the number bit, I've got to make them both 12. Then this one's got an x on the bottom. So I'm going to also have to multiply this right-hand fraction by x top and bottom. Okay? Okay, so I'm going to times top and bottom this one by 4. I'm going to times that by 4. So on the denominator, I get 12x. Okay? I've got to also multiply the top by the same thing. So 2x times 4 is 8x minus 1 times 4 is minus 4. Okay, now this fraction here, I'm going to have to times top and bottom by 3 to give me the 12, but then I've also got to multiply by x. Okay, and I still want the addition in the middle. 4 times 3x is 12x, which is what I wanted, and I needed that so I can then add the numerators. 3x times 1 is 3x, minus x times 3x is minus 3x squared. Don't worry that that's a 3x squared, that we've got squared in there. It's not going to matter, because we're just going to add the numerators. And at the minute, we don't need to do any solving. So we don't need to do any factorising with any quadratics or anything else like that. So we've got 8x, add 3x. So that's 11x. I've got a minus 4 then. I've got no other constant term, so that's fine. That's still minus 4. And then I've still got minus 3x squared, and there's no other x squared term, so we just keep that as minus 3x squared. Okay, that's all divided by a really wobbly fraction line, uh, 12x. And I can't simplify that because I can't divide 11 um, and 12 by anything. And with the same token, I can't divide any, everything by x because I can't divide this minus 4 by x. So that's just my final answer, and that's absolutely fine. Don't worry that we've got, you know, three, three, not, well, I suppose three terms in the numerator. Yeah, an expression with three terms in it. That's absolutely fine again. Okay, now, this next one, I'm going to call, point out a, a big misconception that people have. And I'll show you what that is. So, first things first, I want to factorise this if I can. And this denominator here, the first fraction, I can, I can factorise that. I know I can, because that's a square. And that's a square, and, and I'm subtracting them, so it's, it's a difference of two squares, that one. So I've got 4x plus 5 over x plus 6, <coughs> x minus 6, excuse me, minus 5 over x minus 6. Now, what would be the lowest common multiple of x plus 6, x minus 6, and x minus 6? It is this denominator here. So I don't need to change the left hand fraction, but the right hand one I need to multiply top and bottom by x plus 6. <laughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to get 5 brackets x plus 6 over x plus 6 x minus 6 First fraction, like we said, stays the same. So 4x plus 5 over x plus 6, and then x minus 6. Okay, and now I'm just going to need to scroll this down or move this next question down a little bit, so I've got a bit more room. What I need to do now is I need to do 4x minus 5x. Now this subtraction means I need to take away each bit in here. Now I, I do really need to expand that first, so I will do that. There's a few steps to this one. 6x minus 6. 
then we've got minus and then 5x on the top plus 30 over x plus 6, x minus 6. Okay, now I can take away my numerators. Okay, so 4x take away 5x, leaves you with a minus x or minus 1x. And then I've got 5 take away, I've also got to take away the 30 here. Okay, so I want to do 5 take away 30. Okay, 5 take away 30 is going to give me minus 25. So minus 25 over, I'm just going to move all of this down here a second again. So minus x minus 25, because I've got 4x minus 5x and 5 minus 30, gives me minus 25, over x plus 6 and then x minus 6. I can't actually simplify that anymore. And maybe the one thing you might want to do is you might want to just factorise out a minus 1 from the top. So you get x minus and then x plus 25. Okay, and do it that way. But that's still the same, same answer really. Just maybe makes it look a little bit nicer. Okay, right. Now that's addition and subtraction. Um, now we need to look at multiplication and division. So, multiplication. Starting off, first of all, all you do is do the numerators times together. So we're going to get 3 times by 2x, well 3 times 2 is 6x, and then we've got x times x, uh, which is x squared, and x times 1, which is uh, x. So that's it. And then what I could do, I could... I could have not expanded the, the, the denominator really. I could have left that 6x over x and then x plus 1. And then I could have cancelled out that x with that x and I get 6 over x plus 1. Okay. And the last one, the division. Again, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking I can factorise quite a bit of this. So factorising the top bit, I'm going to get x plus 2 and x minus 2. divided by and then x plus 3 and then I'm going to leave it as divide for the moment and then I can factorise that to 2 brackets x plus 2 divided by and then factorise the 5 out x plus 3. Now when you divide we know that that's equivalent to or the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. Okay, and what's the reciprocal? Well, if you've got fraction, essentially you flip the fraction. Times by 5 lots of x plus 3 over 2 lots of x plus 2. Now, the x plus 2 will cancel with that x plus 2, and the x plus 3 will cancel with that x plus 3. So I'm left with 5 lots of x minus 2 over, and on the bottom I've just got 2. And that's my answer. Okay, so that's it. And, and just like, you know, with normal fractions, these work in exactly the same way. Now, I'm quite aware I've gone over 10 minutes already, so I'm going to be very quick with these next questions. But I want to show us some interesting ones, the problem solving ones, and especially the one that's on the thumbnail. So let's have a look at these two. Now, this is solving. So first thing I want to do here is I want to make it so we've got the same denominators. So I'm going to times this one, top and bottom, by x. So I've got 3 over 2x plus 7x squared over 2x still equal to 11. Now I can now add my fractions and I'm going to get 3 plus 7x squared over 2x is equal to 11. Now if I multiply both sides here by 2x I get 3 plus 7x squared is equal to 22x. And I'll take that over to the other side and I get 7x squared minus 22x plus 3 is equal to 0. Now that's a quadratic, so I need to factorise that if I can, or use quadratic formula to get me a solution. Okay, I'm actually going to move the other problem down out of the way for a second. Uh, so factorising it, I get in the bracket 7x in 1, has to be 7x in x, 
and that's equal to zero. And they've got to multiply to give me positive three and add to give me negative 22. But before I add them, one of my factors is going to get multiplied by the seven. Now, what is negative three times seven? Negative 21, duh. Um, so negative three goes here. Seven times negative three is negative 21. Take away another one. So that gives you negative 22. So that would give me plus three and would add negative three times seven X negative 21 X, negative one X add to give me negative 22 X. So now once it's factorized, one of these brackets has to be zero because it's something times zero equals obviously zero. And it could be the other one, it could be either of them, okay? But let's say it's this first one. Well then X has to be one over seven. One over seven times seven is one, take away one is zero, or x is equal to 3, okay? They are the two solutions that would work in here. Now what you want to do after that is you want to check, plug those numbers in, make sure they work. Of course you want to do that. Check your answers, check your answers people, check, check, check. Okay, now the next question is this one. I'm going to try and hide the third one I had for you, save that for another day. But, uh, oh, I've, I've revealed it there. You can feel free to have a go if you want to, but I don't want the video to run over too much. So I'm going to leave that one for another time. Um, okay, final question here. And this one, people make so many mistakes, and I'll tell you exactly why. Do not make this mistake. Okay, so the first thing is, that's got a fraction, this doesn't. Right, let's give it a fraction. Why are we worried about it? it? doesn't have a fraction. Give it a fraction. Now suddenly I know what to do. It's 1 over 1 and x over 1. Easy. So I'm going to times top and bottom here by 3. Same with this one. Times by 3, top and bottom. Easy. So that's 3 over 3 plus 3x over 3. Oh, I'm not sure what's happened there. Anyway, I'll get rid of that. That's definitely not a 3. Uh, subtract. Uh, and then I'm, sure ex I'm going to expand the bracket. 5x, 5 times negative 2 is minus 10, or negative 10, over 3 is equal to 9. Okay, now I'm going to combine the numerators. So I've got 3 plus 3x. Now this is where the mistake comes in. Do not do this. So minus 5x, the number of people that miss this next bit, subtract negative 10. That's the same as doing plus 10, okay? The number of people, the amount of people that just carry on right, minus 10. They'll minus the 5x and they'll just leave the minus 10 as it is. You're taking away everything. You're taking away everything on the numerator, the 5x and the negative 10. You're taking both of them away, okay? That's all divided by 3, and it's equal to 9. Okay, now I can sort this out on the top here. So I've got 3 and 10, that's 13. 3x minus 5x is minus 2x over 3 is equal to 9 times both sides by 3. Get 13 minus 2x is equal to 9. Sorry, not 9, 9 times 3, which is 27. Can't think. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take away the 13 from both sides. Okay, 27 take away 13 is 14. So negative 2x is equal to 14. Divide by negative 2 on both sides, and we're going to get negative 7. Okay, so x is equal to negative 7. Now, what do you want to do then? What did I say? Check, 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 check it again. Take this number, take x is negative 7, and you need to plug it in back up here. So let's check it. 1 plus negative 7 minus uh, 5 lots of negative 7 minus 2 over 3, and that has to be equal to 9. So, <coughs> negative 7 take away 2 is negative 9. So I've got 1, so that 1 add negative 7 is negative 6, and then I've got minus, and I've got 5 lots of negative, so 5 lots of negative 9 divided by 3, okay, so that's negative 6, negative 9 times 5 is 45, divided by 3 is negative 15, 
So this is add 15 or subtract negative 15, which does give me nine, so it's right. Check, check, check it again. Okay, right. As always, thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. I hope you enjoyed um, that video. And if you could, always, it's helpful to me. If you like the video, um, as some other YouTubers say, smash the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. So make sure you don't miss a video um, when I upload it every Monday at 5pm. Okay, right. It's been brilliant. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.